uh, we can see that renewable energy, instead of being like hippie talk like it was, say, 10 years ago when we all sat around and said, wouldn't it be great if we were getting our power from solar energy and from windmills and things? Wouldn't it be great? It was just like hippie talk. But now it's becoming reality. As president of the General Assembly at the United Nations, Peter Thompson explains the developments in renewable energy over the last few years have been greater than anyone could have imagined. Whether it's solar, hydroelectric or geothermal power, the world is finally beginning to accept that renewable and sustainable energy is the only way to accommodate for depleting reserves. And companies across the world are competing to be the lead innovators in the industry. One major cause of concern in our constantly changing and developing world is the increasing levels of carbon dioxide being emitted into the atmosphere. The overload of the gas is caused mainly by burning of fossil fuels such as coal and oil. However, there is one company trying to use the surplus CO2 for good. Global Thermostat's patented technology captures and concentrates carbon dioxide for reuse across multiple large and growing industries. Not only is it extremely profitable, it also reduces harmful emissions and helps close the global carbon cycle. However, they aren't the only company keeping things moving. Ametis are using biofuel, which is derived from living matter such as agriculture, to drive sustainable change. The company are responsible for producing renewable chemicals and fuels using patented microbes and processes. While Ametis has plants in various locations, their one in California produces over 60 million gallons a year of ethanol, which is the most common biofuel and helpfully an additive to gasoline. Chairman, CEO and founder Eric McAfee explains the impact biofuels are having on the life of everyday Americans. Biofuels has had a material impact on the price of fuel in the United States and every day provides a cost benefit to consumers because of its availability as about a 10% uh, reduction in the amount of gasoline that we use in the United States every year. And there's another source of power being utilized by companies across the world, solar. In the solar industry, quality and reliability are extremely vital. Your solar system should be up, it should be running, it should be effortless. The technical challenges of achieving that at volume are incredible. One leader in the field is Enphase and their production of microconverters, powerful pieces of tech that sit under the solar panel. Once the panel has absorbed the sunshine, the converter transforms it from direct current to alternating current, which can be used in the home. And people around the world seem to have been impressed with the innovative technology, as the company has already shipped out over 5 million units. And they're not the only company using solar power for good. In the Libyan capital of Tripoli, there is a new program keeping hospitals in action. This solar energy program was implemented by the United Nations and is capable of generating 37.5 kilowatts of power a day with the ability to store 137 kilowatts in reserve. For the moment, the program is only being used in the Kidney Services Centre, but there are hopes to expand in order to supply electricity to surgical theatres and recovery wards. 
And with renewable options becoming more cost-effective, green leaders across the world at the recent Future Energy Summit in Abu Dhabi hope many other countries will follow suit. We're seeing in more and more markets around the world that for power generation, renewables are becoming cost competitive on the grid. So that is the principal driver, is that uh, the cost is uh, now bringing it to competitiveness and grid competitive. There is certainly still room for improvement in the quest for a more sustainable planet. However, progress around the world to date is extremely encouraging.